Hallelujah. Let's stretch our hands and just bless the worship team for such a phenomenal, phenomenal ministration. Just stretch your hands towards them. Lord, bless them. The Bible says, he that waters shall be watered himself. Is someone blessing them? Bless them from the depth of your heart. Lord, it is from glory to glory, from grace to grace. Increase their ministries, multiply them, prosper them as they serve. Let the nations see you revealed in their lives. May they be so greatly rewarded for serving you. In the name of Jesus. Now pray for yourself tonight. I have come to receive. I open up my heart to receive. Someone pray. I have come to receive even by the Spirit. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. All right, while standing, I want us to just pray together. Um, we declared a fast today, and I presume that everyone followed. We had two prayer points, and I want us to just pray those prayer points into our spirits. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4 and verse 31. We're still standing. Acts 4, 31. The Bible says, and when they had prayed, not before, not during, when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And the Bible says they were all. How many? All. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. We're praying that the Lord will increase our capacity. Hallelujah. The problem with the woman who was in debt was not the availability of the oil, it was the size of the vessel. Hallelujah. And the prophet gave her a recommendation. He said, the oil will always reflect your capacity. He says, go and borrow vessels. Borrow not a few. Hallelujah. Jude 1 and 20 says, but ye beloved building up yourselves, on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So as we engage in effectual prayer, we're expanding our capacity, capacity to receive, capacity to deliver. Are you ready to pray? Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Louder, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I contend for greater capacity, for greater capacity and higher levels of spiritual power as I submit myself to fervent, effectual prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, as I submit myself to prayer, let there be an enlargement in my spirit. Someone pray. An enlargement, an enlargement, an enlargement. Increase in capacity. The Bible says the fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much. Are you praying? I contend for greater capacity, higher levels of power, Higher levels of unction, higher levels of grace. Grace can be multiplied. Peace can be multiplied. Men can expand from within their spirit. Capacity in the spirit. Capacity in the spirit. For in Jesus'
mighty name we pray. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. When you place a cup on a table like this and you decide to pour one drum of water into that cup, you are going to waste every other thing that you have poured in minus the size of the cup. Am I right on that? Yes. The moment the cup gets filled, every other thing you are pouring will be a waste. Hallelujah. Yes. So, if you want to receive the more, and like you'll be learning, there are many things that cannot be captured in your life except and unless on the strength of your capacity. God cannot trust you with certain instructions. God cannot trust you with certain dimensions. God cannot even trust you with men until this wonderful structure that we're in right now, if the architects would tell you the size of the foundation, the foundation was so constructed to be able to receive this size. Am I right on that? Now, there are times that architects have made mistakes for whatever reason, and they did not pay attention to the foundation, and they kept adding structures on a foundation that was not supposed to host that kind of building. And as a result, you will find out that regardless what they did, as far as the quality of the construction is concerned, it will eventually collapse. God, trust me with higher levels of wealth, higher levels of grace. That cannot happen except and unless you build capacity. We are going to pray one more time. This prayer holds the key to many people's desire. It's not like God does not want to reach down to you, but your capacity is very small and has remained so. As a man of God, you are trusting God to expand your ministry. God loves you, but he loves those you want him to send you to you. And because your capacity is small, you will not be able to do much. Are we together? One more time, cry, greater capacity, enlarged capacity in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray the second prayer point. In Acts chapter 13 and verse 2, Acts 13 verse 2, the Bible says, As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Paul, for the work I have called them into. If they did not submit themselves to prayer and fasting, they would not even know that there was an assignment for them. Hallelujah. We are praying that God would download the prophetic blueprint for the next season of your life. Are we together? Listen to me. Delay is related to confusion. The moment there is clarity, there is speed. Are we together? If you are driving somewhere and you are not sure where to turn to, the first thing you do is reduce your speed so that you do not pass the place. I say it again, delay is related to confusion. You're going to pray, Lord, the prophetic blueprint for my life in this season, I receive it by the Spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. The prophetic blueprint for the next level of my life the prophetic blueprint. Shake parus kate prende kebeleketosh. Kraka taparako segete belekosia. The prophetic blueprint for the next level of your ministry, the next level of your impact. Yesterday's instruction may not suffice for today. Your ears must be inclined to hear what he's saying today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 9 and 10. But as it is written, I have not seen, 
nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Verse 10, but God had revealed them unto us by his spirit. Is that in your Bible? It says, for the spirit searcheth all things. How many things does he search? All things. He does not search some. He has the exclusive ability to search the mind of the Father, even the deep things of God. The deep things of God. You are going to pray, Holy Spirit, bring to my life the detail for the next level of my life. Bring to my life the details. What do I need to do? Where do I need to go to? Who do I need to meet for the next level of my destiny to be opened? Go ahead and pray. Confusion recycles pain. Action in ignorance will only multiply your pain and waste your energy. The Bible says to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. He said, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Is someone praying? The prophetic blueprints. For the next level of my life. For the next level of my life. The prophetic blueprint. For the next level of my business. For in Jesus mighty name we pray it is dangerous for a new season to come upon you and then you do not know how to respond to it the Bible is full of men and women who excelled within their current seasons but they did not know how to navigate the next season an example of such persons was the man called Gehazi Gehazi was a great man who served sincerely. Perhaps he would have been the one to receive Elisha's mantle. But he did not know that the season that was coming upon him demanded that he would have to conquer his love for money and to follow the prophet carefully. And because of a morsel of meat, he destroyed himself. Another person who made that mistake, as you read in the Bible, was the context between Jacob and Esau that he sold his birthright for a pottage of soup, of stew. Hallelujah. It's important that we discern seasons like the sons of Issachar and that we know what to do per season. Help us tonight, O oh God, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please be seated. You're welcome. To the presence of God, welcome to Koinonia. We welcome all who are connected online. The Lord will do you good tonight in Jesus' name. First Timothy chapter 3, 